Hi and welcome to the session. I am Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question says, a manufacturer produces nuts and bolts. It takes one hour of work on machine A and three hours on machine B to produce a package of nuts. It takes three hours on machine A and one hour on machine B to produce a package of bolts. He earns a profit of rupees 17.50 per package on nuts and rupees 7 per package on bolts. How many packages of each should be produced each day so as to maximize his profit? If he operates his machines for at the most 12 hours a day. Let us now start with the solution. First of all, let us assume that number of packages of nuts produced each day be x and number of packages of bolts produced each day be y. So we can write let the number of packages of nuts and bolts produced each day B, X and Y. Now we are given that machine A takes one hour to produce a package of nuts and machine A takes three hours to produce a package of molds. And we also know that machines operate for at the most 12 hours a day. Now according to the question, x plus 3y is less than equal to 12. This is the time taken by machine A to produce x packages of nuts and this is the time taken by machine A to produce Y packages of bolts and we know machine operates for at the most 12 hours a day. So we get X plus 3Y is less than equal to 12. Now we are also given that machine B takes 3 hours to produce a package of nuts. And machine B takes one hour to produce a package of bolts. And this machine also operates for at the most 12 hours a day. Now our second constraint is 3x plus y is less than equal to 12. This is the time taken by machine B to produce x packages of nuts and this is the time taken by machine B to produce y packages of molds. So we get 3x plus y is less than equal to 12. We know machine operates for at the most 12 hours a day. Now we also know that number of packages of nuts and packages of bolts produced per day is greater than equal to 0. So we can write x is greater than equal to 0 and y is also greater than equal to 0. Now we are given that a profit of rupees 7.50 is earned on one package of nuts and profit of rupees 7 is earned on one package of molds. Now our objective function z is equal to 17.50 x plus 7.00 y. This is the profit turned on x packages of nuts and this is the profit turned 
on five packages of words. Now, adding these two, we get Z. Now, our required linear programming problem is maximize objective function z is equal to 17.50x plus 7y subject to constraints x plus 3y is less than equal to 12, 3x plus y is less than equal to 12, x is greater than equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0. Now to draw the graph and for finding the feasible region subject to given constraints, first of all we will draw a line x plus 3y is equal to 12 corresponding to this inequality. Now these two points that is 0, 4 and 12, 0 lie on the line x plus 3y is equal to 12. So we will plot these two points on the graph and draw this line by joining these two points. Now this point on the graph represents the point 0, 4 and this point represents 12, 0. Joining these two points, we get the line x plus 3y is equal to 12. Now clearly we can see this line divides the plane into two half planes. Now, plane that contains the origin 0, 0 satisfies the given inequality. Or we can say, this plane represents x plus 3y is less than 12. So, we will consider this plane. Now we will draw a line 3x plus y is equal to 12 corresponding to this inequality. Now we know points 0, 12 and 4, 0 lie on the line 3x plus y is equal to 12. Now plotting these two points 0, 12 and 4, 0 on the same graph and then joining them we get a line 3x plus y is equal to 12. Now clearly we can see this line divides the plane into two half planes. Now this plane represents 3x plus y less than 12. So we will consider this plane. Or we can say plane containing the origin 0, 0 represents 3x plus y less than 12. Now we know x is greater than equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0. This implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. Now we will consider all the half planes satisfying the given constraints and shading the common region we get this convex polygon. Now, let us name this point as O. We know coordinates of this point are 0, 0. Now, we will name this point as B. Coordinates of point B are 4, 0. We will name this point as C. Clearly we can see these two lines intersect each other at point 3, comma 3. So coordinates of point C are 3, comma 3. Let us name this point as D. Coordinates of D are 0, comma 4. Now according to the corner point method, maximum or minimum value of a linear objective function over a feasible region determined by all the constraints occurs at some vertex of the polygon. Now clearly we can see these are the four vertices of the convex polygon. Now we can write the feasible region OBCD determined by all the constraints is bounded. 
Now we will evaluate z is equal to 17.5x plus 7y at each corner point. Now first of all we will find the value of z at corner point 0, 4. Z is equal to 28 at 0, 4. Substituting 0 for x and 4 for y in this function we get z is equal to 28. Now we will find the value of z at corner point 0, 0. It is equal to 0 only. Clearly we can see substituting 0 for x and 0 for y. In this expression, we get z is equal to 0 at 0, 0. Similarly, value of z is equal to 70 at 4, 0. Substituting 4 for x and 0 for y in this expression, we get z is equal to 70. Now, we will consider corner point 3, 3. Now substituting 3 for x and 3 for y in z is equal to 17.5x plus 7y we get z is equal to 73.50 at point 3,3. 3. Now clearly we can see this is the maximum value of z which occurs at point 3,3. 3. So we can write Hence, the maximum value of z is equal to 73.50, which occurs at point 3,3. 3. So we get maximum profit is equal to rupees 73.50, number of packages of nuts produced daily is equal to 3, and number of packages of bolts produced daily is equal to 3. So this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.